Hi guys, this is Saru245 here with another monthly anime manga video game update video but this time for the month of July 2015 and this month, well July because it's August now <laughs> I'm late again, but whatever this month was fun, it went back to my usual thing because June was kind of slow but here I kind of got a good amount of stuff so yeah, let's start off with the well, the thing that I have the least of of the topics and that's video games and I only have one and that is the Arno Surge plus OD to an Unborn Star which I'm con currently still playing because this game is really long thanks to the side stuff you have to do for the damn true ending have to make all those items and there's a lot of items in this game whoa it's like I'm still playing I'm still playing this game I find myself questioning I'm like damn but yeah it's really fun and kind of makes you well it made me feel like a villain and at the same time made me feel loved it's weird you gotta play or watch it you got you guys gotta play or watch it yourself to see but I can't really explain it it's well one spoiler and also it's weird but nice but whatever on to the next thing which is, we'll start with the anime next. And that first up is the Soul Eater Knot Limited Edition. I really enjoyed this anime a lot. It's kind of like, like I expected. And, you know, in English it was just so nice to hear. Because like, characters from the Soul Eater, you know, universe and stuff like in the first anime, show up here as cameos. And it was really nice to hear them again. And, and characters too from Soul Eater get, you know, some characters get some more screen time that they didn't get in the first one. So it's nice to hear them too. So yeah, this was really fun. I really enjoyed the commentaries and especially the outtakes. Man, those were great. And it's funny enough in the commentaries, one of the commentaries is about with these three. The voice actors for these three characters. And and it felt like I was listening to the characters themselves. They were, they were all giggling and having fun. And, I think like their characters it was weird but cool. It's like, it's like they were best of friends too. So yeah, that was cool. So next up is another stuff. All these DVDs I got from Riot stuff, because you know, I, the anime store for some reason doesn't get them on time or at all. So I have to rely on them, which is cool. Sometimes I get it early, sometimes, but you know. The next one up is the Blaze Blue Alter Memory anime based on the games, which I don't have. I don't really agree with a lot of what people say that this anime is bad, because I really like this anime and I played the games, the two games that it's based off of, before I played this, uh, before I watched this anime, and it helped me learn more about the char understand characters and themes more than before. Even though some characters don't show up as much, but that's all right because it's still enjoyable anime. And this is coming from someone played the two games for the story alone not so much for the you know fighting gameplay because that shit is hard because I could only play as like Noelle the most of and that's not even all her moves so yeah all right it's fun next up well these don't have sadly it doesn't have like the hyper dimension Neptunia anime it doesn't have commentaries which suck I would love to hear some of the voice actors in this anime talk about it and, you know, random stuff like they usually tend to do. Next up is One Piece Season 7 Voyage 1. We're at one of the turning points of the anime in English now. And it was great. Oh, we only got a little smidge of the supernovas. It was great. Not ex wasn't expecting, you know, Matthew Mercer to voice Law. This is my idea. <laughs> but it actually fits. And I can't wait to hear him more and, and more in the future. I hope he's prepared because he's going to come back for a long arc. So yeah, this was fun. Can't wait for the next voyage though. As this ends up in a very tense yet epic situation. And the next one is where all hell breaks loose. So I can't wait for well, next month, the beginning, literally the first, to get from right stuff the next DVD. So yeah, this one. I haven't seen the commentaries of this yet. So though I did see an extra of it though, on this, which was interesting. One of the, it was a new voice actor that joined this crew, 
well, not the crew, but one of the villains. No minor villains. To join them, so that was cool. That was cool learning about it. So that's cool. Thanks to a lot of characters, or a lot of voice in these freaking series, like this and Fairy Tale, they're adding a lot of new voice actors to it from like other parts of, of the country, too. So that's cool. Though it's One Piece, so these characters might come back, so they gotta be careful about that. So, next up is manga, funny enough. I got this final Soul Eater volume, which I kind of read before the anime, so I guess you could say I spoiled myself, but that's alright. It changed stuff up in the anime, but that was cool. It was alright. In the anime, it looked nice, and you know, I had the English and voices and whatnot. And this was fun read, and this is like really thick to hold in my hand, so it was really fun. And the artwork is nice in this, so yeah. Well, I can't really show you, it's really small, but I'll read the back real quick. Ding dong, dead dong. Class is in session. The even D. Dayomei is preparing for the annual Death Festival, held on Halloween. The wild death city is abuzz with excitement and delight. Something sinister is brewing within its shadows. And it seems the girls' carefree school days are in for a rude awakening with a shocking betrayal. Can Di Dong Yomei stop the nefarious witch Shaola Gorgon's schemes before it's too late? Or will Sugimi ever get to make her choice? It's a savage but super fun conclusion. Just sad, I wish this continued longer. And it ended too damn soon. I was like, shit. <laughs> like, damn, I don't like it when it ends that. I would like to have ten volumes instead. Alright, next up is Fairy Tale. I kinda went crazy with this. <laughs> And, and I went crazy again. I don't know, it's a very fun series, so I just like reading it and enjoying the, I enjoy the characters. So it's volume 15. Well, ending the, you know, old Loxus arc thing. Now, next one is the Nirvana arc, which includes the new character Wendy and a whole slew of other characters. Men. So it's volume 16. Volume 17 introduces the Orashion Seis. And volume 18. Out of volumes this month, or, no, well, June I didn't get any mangas that I can remember right now at <laughs> the top of my head. Pretty sure I didn't. So, yeah, this. So I'll read the back. This is awesome, though. In the manga, because I saw the anime first, this fight was a lot shorter here. It's like, it's over already? Like, damn. Like, a little disappointed about that because it was cool in the anime. It was longer and more stuff, but it was not too bad. <laughs> so, it caught me off guard, though. It really did. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll read the back real quick. A team of dragons. Loxus' protectors have all been defeated, but he still remains one of the most powerful wizards in fairy tale. And this Thunder Palace is starting to rain down death and destruction on the innocent people of Magnolia. Can the two Dragon Slayers, Natu and Gajil, manage to keep from fighting each other enough to stop him? Well, that's volume 15. Here's volume 16, titled A Team of Dragons. Our dark, the Dark Guilds have allied, and the only thing that Fairy Tail can do to stop them is to ally with three other guilds and try to take on the most powerful wizards in the underworld. But the Dark Guild Wizards won't wait for our heroes to make the first move. This volume begins the epic Nirvana storyline. Alright, next up. Volume 17, titled... With the light out, it's less dangerous. After Wendy is abducted by the Dark Guilds, she is exposed to the destructive magical properties of Nirvana, which drastically altered the light and darkness within her body. Can Fairy Tail rescue Wendy and save her precious soul? Or will the Dark Guilds have the last laugh? <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, volume 18. Titled Nirvana Rising. With the members of the Allied Guilds scattered, Natsu and the Fairy Tail team have to somehow find a way to stop the terrifying magic of Nirvana. But our Arasian says isn't going to give up without a fight. Will our heroes be able to face the Dark Guilds' strongest wizards? Dum -dum -dum. So yeah, that's all this. This is all the stuff I got. It's really fun reading this. These this, and 
with now Soul Eater anime, the not anime and manga over now, I got all this Soul Eater stuff. So that's really sad. So it's like really over now. It's like, damn. But that was a fun ride. So this is all the stuff I got. So I'll see you guys for the August 2015 video. Hopefully I do at the end of this month. And not be late again. But I, no guarantees. So I'll see you guys later. Sorry, 245. That anime guy here. Peace.